what's up what's up what's up it's your boy dc too cool back again for another video today's topic is the best dragon ball z game to pretty much ever come out on consoles which is what they've always mostly been on just recently they've been in uh on pc um but a lot of people and the most popular game seem to be burst limit team kaiju 3 Raging Blast 2, and, of course, Budokai 3. Um, those are by far the four most popular games, and for good reason. Um, Burslem had a pretty deep uh, deep fighting style. Uh, the only problem was certain elements in that game are very broken. Um, the fact that you didn't have to power up. Vegeta's Big Bang Attack was completely broken. We'll go through ultimates. We'll go through any move in the game, damn near. And all you had to do was push forward in a circle. So that was ridiculous. Um, Tenkaichi 3, is, a lot of people say Tenkaichi 2. Some people think Tenkaichi 2, 2 is better. I don't see how, because they're basically, basically the exact same game. Except Tenkaichi 3 gave you more content. More characters, a dodge system. Uh, you know, every single storyline. You know, at that time anyway. You know, had all the movies. You have GT, Dragon Ball, Z. Um, so, I don't know how people think. I mean, as far as the storyline, as far as, you know, the free roam-ish, Budokai 3 style storyline, I can understand that. That was nicer than just going through, I mean, it was cooler than just going through, you know, match to match to match, or, you know, battle to battle to battle. Although, I still really enjoyed Tenkaichi 3. And the music was a little bit better than Tenkaichi 2, in my opinion. Uh, a little that heat capacity thing. But, I digress. Um, so, and then when it comes to Budokai 3, that had a very deep fighting engine. Uh, it was pretty much, the, definitely the premier one on the PS2, but, well, some people would say that. Uh, Infinite World, to me, was probably a little bit better because it's basically Budokai 3, uh, except that you had, again, kind of like Tinkaichi 3, Tinkaichi 2, you had more content. You had PyCon, you had Janimba. You know, you had new ultimates and stuff. You didn't have to have the burst rush. I mean, you did have to, actually, you did have to have the burst dragon rush thing they still had. But, um, it was just basically the same game with more content, more features. Um, so, but for some reason, Infinite World kind of gets lost in the shuffle when people talk about some of the best games on PS2. Because for me, it's Budokai 3. It's split between Budokai 3 and Infinite World. But I probably have to give the Infinite World overall. Because, like I said, it's basically Budokai 3 set with more content. It's the last Budokai game on, uh, PS2. The only problem is uh, with that one, a lot of people didn't like was the mini games. Other oh, the mini games are pretty cool. Uh, you have to do certain things like run Snake Away for the first time ever and everything. Actually, train the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. I thought they were pretty cool. Nice little touch. But some people prefer just going through the storyline and they like the mini games. Thought they were tedious. This and that. Um, then, of course, we get the Raging Blast 2. Raging Blast 2 was one of my all time favorites. I don't know what it was about this game, but I absolutely love this game. I think I'll have the most fun with this out of, I don't know. I won't say all the games, but it's way up there for me. For some reason, I thought this was a truly competitive, and although we can't, uh, you know, go back to that, but we never truly have a, a competitive Dragon Ball game. I just, something about this was really felt really skillful to me. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was about this game that really just put me into it, because I used to play that game, man, for like a year straight. Oh my God, I was so addicted to Rage of Blast 2. Online ring matches, just going in, having fun online with friends. I don't know what it was about that game, but I loved it. But that's my picks. I think Xenoverse is definitely going to be in here one of these days when it gets Xenoverse 2. But tell me what you guys think. What's your favorite Dragon Ball Z game? Until next time, peace out.